Good morning. We are still in Aswan and we're going to be checking out of our accommodation pretty shortly. Since we last spoke to you, we booked our train from Aswan to Luxor using 12Go, who is a company that we have used before. We are advised from not our host, but someone who works with our host that it's best to book your train ticket online. So needless to say, we booked the ticket for four o'clock this afternoon. And then we received an email from 12Go saying that Egyptian Railways could not fulfill that ticket, but they offered us a second class ticket at 8.45 tonight. So we jumped on it and said, yeah, that's totally fine. Please confirm that we have a ticket. We woke up early this morning to another email from 12Go saying the operator has not confirmed our ticket yet and they'll let us know as soon as they hear back. Well, that doesn't really work for us because we have to get to Luxor by tonight. We only have one full day in Luxor, which is tomorrow. And so I have now emailed back saying, when will we know if we have a ticket on this 845 train? Because if we're not going to get the ticket, we can't be waiting until that late to find another way to get to Luxor. We need to know, I'd say by like four or five at the latest so that we can get a shared van or a private car, even though it's going to cost an arm and a leg, we have to do this. With this whole experience, then we know that really the fault doesn't lie with 12 go, once mm-hmm. ago, whatever it's called, purely because we booked pretty much all of our bus travel in Jordan through them and they were nothing but good. They clearly stated exactly what we had to do in order to fulfill the ticket and every single bus that we got was all good from there. Yeah, it was on time, it went smoothly, worked so, perfectly. So definitely it's nothing to do with them. They are really trying their best in the situation. We did hear that the Egyptian rail system is a bit of a minefield purely for things like this. Apparently, sometimes you can go to the ticket office and they just say, oh, no, train's full, or we're not selling tickets today, or something like that. And so, yeah, it comes with a little bit of a reputation. Definitely we have done our research here, but we did figure that actually, all things considered, this would be the best option for us based on cost alone. Uh, Because even if we went on first class, then it would be $70 per person in comparison to a flight, which would be twice that money, or like a private cab, which would be like in excess of about $100 per person. So with that, then that was what we weighed it up against, especially since it's only about a two to three hour journey. We figured that this would be the one which would be maybe okay. And just to add on to that, when Mm -hmm. I was talking to the people from Aswan who were advising us, they said you can buy your train ticket on the day of, no problem. Mm -hmm. And then the next thing they said was just buy it online. It should be no issue. And you can't buy it online from Egyptian Railways. No, you can't buy it directly because right now their website is still kind of under construction as far as the booking portal goes. So it's open to Egyptian citizens right now, but it's not open to anybody who is foreign. This has meant that obviously our hands are quite tied when it comes to all of this, other than literally just trying to jump on a train and chance it. Maybe as we go through travels over time, then we'll be a bit more open to such risks, but it felt like a bit too much today. So um, it's proving a little bit interesting. I think it's like, obviously we've done our research and so we did know that it was gonna be a bit of a challenge, but I think it's proving to be more of a challenge than I think even we anticipated because even when we've stayed in North Africa previously, then Mm. the system in places like Morocco, for example, works basically more or less like it does in Europe and North America. You rock up, you buy your train ticket, you get on your train, you show the ticket, that's you. And it's on time. And it is on time, very comfortable service, and nobody has any problems. This, by comparison, is throwing us a bit for a loop just because we've not experienced something quite like this before. But for now, we do have to check out. So we are going to do a very, very uncultured thing and head over to McDonald's because we're hoping that they do cheapish food and free Wi-Fi. And it's a safe place where we won't have to negotiate or be hassled by people on the street. 
And most importantly, it's air conditioned, which in 40 plus degree weather is paramount. So we're gonna hang out there um, and just hope for the best. Yeah, I'm not worried that we won't get to Luxor today. There are options to get there and it might just mean that we have to pay more money. And I am glad that we tried this way because we were researched. We knew it was risky. As you said, we didn't know it was gonna be this much of a challenge, yeah. but I still think it was worth trying it this way and who knows it could still work out this way so let the adventure begin for the record we are not proud of this but the free wi-fi and air conditioning has won out today We spent about five and a half hours at McDonald's today and you'll notice we really didn't film much because we didn't really do much. We worked on the computer and we watched YouTube while waiting for a response from one to go Asia, which never came. Well, yeah, I mean, you say you were watching YouTube videos, you were more seeing a YouTube video in front of you while feverishly checking your phone every five seconds. So. Yeah, I was checking my email because I actually emailed them three times today to get just an acknowledgement or response. And I tried to contact them on Facebook Messenger as well as Twitter and received no response for over 19 hours. Yep. So then we finally decided to contact the operator of our hotel here in Aswan who arranged a private car for us to Luxor, which means I think that we're paying actually a little bit less surprisingly yeah. than the train. Although since talking to other people, we've heard mixed things about how much the train costs. So who knows what's really going on here? Yeah, but at the end of it all, thankfully we are getting to Luxor by this evening, which was really the entire point. So that's definitely good news. And we're in a really comfortable air conditioned car. Yep. So definitely a much better spot than we were even a few minutes ago. So I'll definitely take it. But yeah, it's um, it's just been a needlessly stressful day um, for no apparent reason. Thankfully, we've been able to just about busy ourselves. And thankfully, McDonald's has been perfectly fine with us just hanging around. So that was all good. We just feel bad that we can't show you what train travel is like in Egypt because we're not going on a train. But I guess this is maybe a bit of a learning experience for anyone who comes here in the future to either book your ticket way ahead of time, maybe go to the train station instead of trying to book it online, even though we were given both pieces of advice. Um, you can learn from what's happened to us. Exactly. We have heard of people being able to do both and being successful. So. Maybe we took the wrong approach. If we have, then feel free to drop us a comment to tell us how we should have gone about it and how much it maybe should have cost. We're more than happy to learn lessons for the next time. The good news also is that now that we've been in the private car, I have received a message from one to Asia or whatever their name is. And they said that our train was canceled. So it's actually, really good that we made this decision to get a car because we would have been stuck without a train and without a car for even longer. Exactly. So yeah, it's all shaking out. We're gonna spend the next couple of hours um, making our way up to Luxor. So let's see how this goes. After all the previous confusion, then we are very happy to say that the private car ride went very, very smoothly. Um, I feel like he absolutely belted it across the desert, honestly, which meant that 
we got here in about two and a half hours, I think. Yeah, we left at 6.30 and we probably got here at about nine. Yeah, so pretty much record time, really. And we've checked in now and we got upgraded as well from what was meant to just be a studio to a two bedroom flat for absolutely no reason. So yeah, as you can see, it is massive, way too big for the two of us, but we'll take it. When we're getting something this large, it feels like a shame we're only using it for a two couple nights. of nights, yeah. but there we go. We'll enjoy it all the same. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna look a gift horse in the mouth. And with that, we're probably going to turn in. Got what is looking to be a pretty full day of being a tourist tomorrow. Lots of temples and tombs and all that fun stuff to check out. So until the next time, take care. And keep smiling.